Hi and welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Michael Ovello and in this video tutorial I want to talk about uh, Chrome and I want to show you how you make a Chrome matic surface or Chrome plating. Okay, let's have a look at this picture. This picture is from, Wik from Wikipedia as you can see and Wikipedia is my first choice uh, if I researching on materials because they are are images of the materials and it's this there's a description how uh, the material um, is done how uh, it's manufactured and how it behaves and chrome is a shiny glossy material and because it's a plating um, and the plating is really thin is it has uh, something special it has something like a color ramp and the color ramp is on, from white to black. Um, if uh, something is not facing directly to you on Chrome, it's getting black. It's because it's really thin and the reflection uh, behaves um, like it's going through uh, a little bit like a, a Fresnel or something like that. Um, okay, let's just jump into Blender right now. And here I have my um, Blender material preview scene, the BMPS, and you can get this on blender.org. Just download the demo files, and there you have it. Um, now let's just add a material. Let's call it Chrome. And then change the material here and to a glossy material. If you delete the diffuse node and you add a uh, new glossy node, you have a roughness in here. It's, I think, 0.2. Um, but if you change it here, um, it takes the roughness settings from the diffuse material. Okay. Um, now we have a shiny chrome ball here in the material preview, and we want to have this ramp here. For this we need um, a converter, a color ramp, converter, and let's just change the black here to a white, and the white to black. Okay, then we have a color ramp, but the, the black begins um, in the back. Okay, for this we have to move this this slider here, uh, let's say a little more than the half of the of this ramp here, and let's just change this from linear to ease, so it's a better gradient, and let's let's see. Um, now we have to enter here some numbers but are um, a factor and the factor comes from a layer weight node. Layer weight here because we have to this this ramp here is depending on the facing of your object. So just add layer weight and connect the facing with the factor here. And I think we have to crank up this here a little bit. I tested it and 0.5 is too too low and 0.8 is too much. So I think 0.7 is the right choice of number. And just connect this color connector with the color of the glossy. And then you can see in the material preview, you can see this black edge here. Now let's just have a look how it looks like if it's rendered. Um, it's working. Sometimes um, I'm getting a CUDA error here and then it's uh, if you get this, if you get a CUDA error here and you have, like me, uh, many programs open in the background, um, just close a few programs and do the render again and there you are, then it's working again. 
Okay, now we have our chrome material and it's looking really cool. We have the reflections here and if you go to the back it's getting black. And that's it what's what is chrome about. A really reflective material with something like a, a ramp on it from reflective to black. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching and see you in the next tutorial. Bye!